Boom shakalaka, what will 2000 XRP be worth in 2025? You definitely want to stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randy here from Crypto. Today's video, we're taking a look at what 2000 XRP will be worth in 2025. Before we do, like the video, come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love, and subscribe to the OG Bitcoin and Crypto YouTube channel making daily videos since 2017. Now, in today's video, we will be getting into a few realistic price scenarios for where XRP could be by 2025. But why, oh why, are we making this video? Well, right now it appears to me like an amazing time to load up on some altcoins at a pretty significant discount. Some people, especially the bears, think that the bull runs over and nothing is going to happen, but it seems like this is more likely just the summer lull before the rally happens towards the end of the year. If we take a look at charts like this for altcoins, we have the EMA right here, 200 or the EMA right here, and then also the SAR down below it, and this looks very similar to what happened previously before altcoins took off. Generally, sell and may go away and then come back September for the rest of the rally. Right now, altcoins are sitting just below the two-month parabolic SAR line. After they break above that, that's when things go parabolic and the market goes crazy. So we're literally at the point of no return, making, in my opinion, probably one of the better times to be able to accumulate coins. If we take a look at this chart, right now finding some resistance at the 61.8 Fib level, but historically, after it breaks that level, that is massive parabolic alt season. And look at how high altcoins could go. As a matter of fact, there's something called expanding cycles theory, where the previous cycle is a lot smaller than the current cycle, which could be a combination of two much larger in with the alt season here. This could be an absolutely giant alt season coming. So that being said, it's worthwhile keeping an eye out for some projects that could potentially do very good. Now, just recently, I was making a video on Ondo, and you can probably find that video somewhere on the channel. But it got me to thinking, real world assets are really popular. How come people are just not that enthusiastic about XRP anymore? Is it the lawsuit with the SEC? Might be. Now, if things continue to go south with that, yeah, it may not be great, but if things go south for XRP, they may go south for pretty much all other cryptocurrencies out there. And if they don't go south, well then maybe, just maybe, especially taking a look at some charts that we'll take a look at in a second, I'll give you a hint right there. Maybe, just maybe, things could turn out very well for XRP. So, unmatched benefits of XRP, fast, low cost, scalable, stable, sustainable, distributed, plus instant cross-border payment settlements, sustainable central bank digital currencies, as money comes online, should XRP become the asset of choice for this? Well, it wouldn't be that unreasonable for a lot of money to flow into XRP. Now, if we take a look right now, this is the historic price chart right here, and you can see it's down pretty low from previous all-time highs. What was seen in 2018 when I met the dude from Gas Monkey Garage sometime here later in 2018, and he's like, what happened to my ripples? And yeah, it didn't earn him. Maybe he said XRP. I don't exactly remember, but I was just like, yeah, he bought at the top and then pff, price tumbled down. But anyways, today, 47 cents for XRP. And if we take a look at things, take a look at this chart. All right. This chart is pretty spectacular because you can see that XRP is coiling up, forming a nice wedge right here. Now, generally, wedges like to break out. And if history is anything of an indicator of what could happen, well, let's see what would happen if XRP broke, broke out of any wedges previously. As a matter of fact, I didn't even mark this wedge right here. Oh my goodness, there's another one. We can do it live on the video. Look at that. There's another wedge that XRP broke out of as well. So here we had a wedge, okay, coiling up, broke out of the wedge, and price went from Point zero zero five dollars all the way up to 39 cents. Holy cow. And then we had another wedge. Price broke out of there from 23 cents all the way up to $3 and change. Well, we have a giant wedge forming once again. What dare say will happen 
This time, could it break up? Yes. Could it break down? Yes. I don't exactly know, but let's take a look at some price scenarios. Just for instance, let's say that you had bought XRP back in 2017, March of 2017 to be exact. Price was $0.006 or about a half a cent. Well, eight months later, January of 2018, price was $3.84. You would have 640x your investment. Holy cow. Had you have done that, that means had you have put $1,562 into XRP in March of 2017, you would have been a millionaire by January of the following year. Why did you not do that? What is wrong with you? Well, you know, hindsight's 2020. But let's say today you want to invest roughly $1,000 into XRP because you watch this video, you like watching videos on my channel, and then for some stupid reason, anytime I name a coin, you plop $1,000 into it because you just have all this money flowing around and you don't know what else to do with it. Well, if that's the case, you can just start sending the money to me. But if you wanted to invest in XRP, let's just say you bought $1,000 of XRP today. That would roughly get you 2,000 XRP. Right now, at 47 cents, it's $940. But let's say you did that. And let's say nothing spectacular this bull run, not expanding cycles theory. Let's just say XRP goes back to previous all-time highs. Now, it should be noted on the chart here that if it does go back to all-time highs, it would break through this cycle top right here. And then what we would have, my friends, is not just some really nice looking boobies right there, but that's actually a double bottom right there. And generally, that's a very predictive chart pattern for any coin in a bull market, sends the price a lot higher. But let's just say it gets back to previous all-time highs, $130 billion. If that were to happen, you would 5x your $1,000 investment, making you $4,670 with a $2.33 XRP. And that's really not that unreasonable. The only reason why I think that might not happen, maybe we'll remove this here for the children that are watching the channel. This channel's not for children. But the only reason that wouldn't happen is if you see what I see here is, you know, we had two bull runs ago, cycle peak here, one bull run ago, cycle peak here, well, the next bull run would be roughly the end of this year to the beginning of next year. What if that was the peak right there and it only got to not a dollar? You know, that could be the one scenario where things might not do well and then just go right down the bottom. But that's not who I'm making this video for. I'm making for this video for XRP Army, people who are into XRP. So let's go to scenario two. This scenario kind of goes off of expanding cycles theory. So last cycle, Ethereum, small cryptocurrency you might have heard of, had a market cap of $559 billion. As a matter of fact, a lot of people have talked about XRP flipping Ethereum. It hasn't happened yet, but last cycle, Ethereum's market cap $559 billion. This cycle, I think we'll see a few altcoins with a market cap of $559 billion. Let's say that XRP was one of those. Let's say it, you know, the uh, SEC lawsuits over, people start getting back into it, cross-border payments, all this fun stuff. Well, in that scenario, you would 21x your investment, making you $20,082 with a $10 XRP. And that one, again, really not that unreasonable of a scenario because as of right now, XRP is number seven on coin market cap. Ethereum is number two. Well, it wouldn't be unreasonable for some of those top tens to have a similar market cap that Ethereum had last cycle. Which brings us to scenario three, probably a little bit less reasonable, but you know, stranger things have happened. A lot of people are predicting, hey, you know, Bitcoin is going to go to $200,000 plus this cycle. And a lot of people are saying, no, it's not. But I tend to err on the side of, yeah, it probably is. Hardest ass have ever fixed supply, all that fun stuff. Well, if that were to happen, and if we were to have a market cap roughly about a quarter of Bitcoin's market cap in that scenario, because Ethereum roughly generally has somewhere about a quarter of Bitcoin's market cap, well, that would be $3.6 trillion market cap. And if that were to happen, and if that coin were to be XRP by 2025, guess what? 
you would 137X that $1,000, making you $129,333 with a $65 XRP. And in that scenario, if that were to happen, guess what? A mere $7,299.27 today would make you a millionaire by 2025. How cool is that, right? So that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, like the video, join us on Twitter at The Crypto Love. Subscribe to this awesome channel. And of course, YouTube thinks you should watch that video right there. And I tend to agree. I'll catch you later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.